everyone, welcome to Moving Vlog 3. I have got quite a few updates to show you on the house that I didn't manage to film because I was just so busy. But a lot has changed since we were last in the house and since I last filmed. So I really want to show you the updates. So here we go. So the first major update is we now have our kitchen cupboards back on, which I will show you in a minute. So yeah, I'm super happy with how they look. So I'll just quickly show you the kitchen cupboards. So here are the kitchen cupboards and we now have the little knobs on as well. Please ignore this cream bit. That's just like a job for another day because we totally forgot to take it off. But all the gray is on and we have our cupboards sorted. And then we bought like these little knobs from B&Q. Those were like eight pound for a two pack. But I do love the shiny finish that they give off. So yeah, we've actually finished the kitchen cupboards. So the next job is going to be to D DC fix this with the rolls there, which I will show you in a minute. But yeah, so the kitchen is now done cupboard wise. I'm super happy with the color. I think it's a beautiful gray. The Wilco cupboard paint definitely is so good. And yeah, just very happy with it. So my job today is to put the DC cover on the countertops. I say that, hopefully. I mean, if it doesn't go to plan, we'll just keep the blue that's on the counters. So it has got this blue, but I did want to put like this very dark granite kind of color on. So yeah, I have four rolls of this. Again, it's from B&Q, it's only about six pounds and it has like this lovely granite effect. So that is my job for today. Hopefully it will go to plan and then I am gonna epoxy resin it on the top to kind of seal it in. And then I'm gonna take you to the living room because the living room, Definitely looks a lot different since you last saw it. So this is what the living room is currently looking like. So I decided to paint it with that pure grey that we did in Tom's room. And we put it on and it literally looked brown, which we definitely didn't want. So we decided to go with this lovely navy. The fireplace is going to get painted at some point. Um, and today Tom is going to lay the floor in here. It's the living room update. I'm also going to keep the walls white now because it looks great with the blue. And we're gonna paint the fireplace that gray whisper that I did in my bedroom um, because the couches are gray. So yeah, this is the update of the living room. And now we're in mine and Tom's bedroom. This is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house. I love it. And in my last vlog, I told you that we decided to wallpaper one of the walls. So that's job's been done, which I'll show you in a minute. And our laminate is now down because Tom and his sister finished it yesterday. So I'm so excited to show you what it looks like. So you're gonna have to excuse the mess because we literally just finished doing it yesterday. But this is the wallpaper. It's like this lovely geo effect with the dark gray. It's a lovely feature wall. This wallpaper is from b and Q. I I love it. And then this is the floor. So as you can see, Tom picked this floor, but it's still a lovely oak color. And I think it looks great with the the light gray and the feature wall. I think it looks great. So yeah, this is our bedroom now complete, minus me sorting out all the rubbish today. But yeah, and those are the light gray walls that I painted in the last vlog. They look great. It is the most subtlest touch of gray but I think it's really nice, it's not overpowering. So like I said, I'm going to tidy up the bedroom and I'm also going to be cutting the pieces ready to lay on the kitchen countertop because I do, I do need an extra person to help me, otherwise you get loads of bubbles and everything. So yeah, I am going to be cutting the pieces as well. So that's what I'm going to do now. I think I haven't actually shown you the bathroom downstairs, but it is actually like this lovely white colour now. Just really nice and clean and simple. So yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you this because I don't think I've shown you since I painted it in the first vlog with the first coat. So yeah, definitely needed three coats in the end. Okay, so it is a few days later now. Actually, it's probably about a week later now. Um, and I wanted to show you the kitchen. The kitchen's now finished. It just needs the tap replacing which Tom is going to do today. So I am going to show you 
the countertops that I did and the resin that I put on. I put two lots of resin on. It's not perfect. It has air bubbles in it, even though I left it and followed the instructions. But I don't know if it was just like a rubbish resin that I picked up. But it's had two coats, so it is like officially done now. So this is what the kitchen looks like. As you can see, it's a lovely dark colour. That blue is gone. It's like a similar pattern to what the blue was. But yeah, the countertops are now finished. I am very happy with how they look. I'll just stand back here so you can see the kitchen properly. So this is now the kitchen almost complete. That tap just needs replacing because it is very old and broken. But yeah, so that is the kitchen now. So the next thing that I wanted to show you is the living room. The floor finally got finished a few days ago and I'm so relieved it finally did get finished. The only thing we need to put around is like a little bit of edging to fill the gaps um, and it's called Scotia's apparently. I've never heard of that name before but that's what Tom's going to do today. So yeah I just thought I'd show you the living room floor. So this is what the living room looks like. The floor just needs a good kind of clean because obviously we've had all sorts on it. But yeah, I think it looks lovely with the blue and the white. I think it will really go with our light grey couch we got from DFS. That should be coming in probably October time. But yeah, so this is now the living room finished as well. The only thing I need to do today is I'm going to paint the fireplace a light grey. But I'm going to put the white primer on first. The carpet on the stairs here is going to be getting done next weekend. So that will be done as well. And now I'm just going to take you to the bedroom because we actually have finished the bedroom and we actually have some furniture built as well. I don't know why the light changed. It is quite dark today actually so, whoa, I do look very blue. It's that dark today that my room actually looks blue. But I'll just show you the furniture that we actually have in the bedroom that's already built. So this is our bed. It's not going to stay here. It's because we need to carry on building stuff here. So we have the bed, this is the Ikea Malm bed and then we bought the nice slats to go with it. Apparently these ones are like comfier. And then we have one bedside table built, we need to do the other one today. And we have the wardrobe built which was a massive pain in the ass to be honest. Because it's so big, we already had the bed built and then we're trying to build the wardrobe and it's like three different boxes and it was just like a lot of work so. That's finally built. So this is the, I think it's called the brims, but you just open it up and then you have a shelf at the bottom. I really wanted a wardrobe with a mirror in the middle as well. So we've got that. So we don't obviously have to have a separate mirror for like showing our outfits off. And then we have our little shelves here. And then obviously we're gonna put jeans and stuff in there. So yeah, that's the wardrobe done. So the only thing now that we have to do is we have to do our four malm drawers. So it's got four drawers in it and that's going to go here directly next to it. And then we're going to buy a little TV stand. So the bed's going to move up here. We're going to have two bedside tables either side and then we're going to have a little unit here in the corner to put our TV on. We only have like a little one. So yeah, that is the bedroom update. So and now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the grouting in the bathroom. So I have a grout pen. I did buy one, but the nib was like, it was honestly like that fat and you couldn't get in all the nooks and crannies. So that is what I'm going to do now. So I'll show you once I've finished doing it, what it looks like. to grab the bathroom I did the best I can it still doesn't look how I want it to look it still looks quite dirty it still looks quite dirty in the grout so I'm gonna have to actually get some grout and just properly grout it because I've tried two different pens now and they're both rubbish so now I'm going to paint the fireplace so I will just be doing the primer you probably you probably only see me do the primer today 
um, and then I'll just conclude this vlog and then I can show you like the final result when it's move-in day and I can show you all the furniture that's built and all that so I'll paint the fireplace and then I'll see you in my next video. Okay, so that is the fireplace primed and it's just having a very light grey over the top so I'll show you that in the next vlog. The next vlog is actually probably going to be the moving day vlog and then I'll just show you like an updated kind of house tour with that vlog as well hopefully. So yeah, that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Bye!